you probably don't know how to animate or maybe just start. I have been animating for one year now, from references to animations from scratch. So as requested, I will show you in short how I go through my animations and what I have learned. I have animated on Flash, Adobe Animate, OpenTunes, and currently on Blender. You are free to use a platform to your preference, but I highly suggest you get used to Blender. This is not an ad, but Blender is excellent for 2D animation because of its grease pencil tool, which allows you to draw and animate directly in a 3D environment. This makes it ideal for combining 2D and 3D elements seamlessly, offering flexibility for hybrid projects and unique visual styles. Additionally, it's free. So yeah, for all of us with no money, so when you have finesse blender within at least $100 program, you will get this on your screen. You get a ton of options, but we will start with the 2D animations tab. And just like every other program, you get a white canvas and all the tools you need. But actually it is not really 2D. Oh By pressing the camera button, you will see that you are drawing on a canvas in 3D space already. The end result will still be 2D, but this allows you to move objects easier like you're drawing your camera for camera shake, for example. In this part of the video, I just go briefly over some stuff that are self-explanatory. So my bad if the video don't display it, what I'm saying at that time. On the top left, you find the pencil and all the other types of drawing materials. Next to it, there is written solid stroke. Pause. It is actually, just as you can sort by layer, a way to sort your colors for whatever it may be. And by picking material instead of color, attribute, you can change it any time. Oh all of this info in regards of the layers can be found on the right side of the screen. It is really easy to get around with just take your time when you click on something to read it. Best believe that those little steps will speed up the process. Now pay attention, the bar underneath is the same as for the ones who are familiar with the timeline, but this one is more specific for 2D drawings, it is called the dope sheet. You can notice by moving it that you can make your own workspace, even add other stuff to your liking. You can easily move frames by dragging the icons, add frames or delete with the delete key on it. The only thing that is left to do is to get familiar with the function. In the render settings on the right, the little TV icon is where you can choose the frame rate. The more frames, the more drawings you have to make for one second video, but it will come out more smooth, depending on your drawings. Stay tuned because I will show how to make longer animations faster in upcoming videos. You can also find the output section there to choose the render destination of your animation. If for the render display it takes too long to process on your PC, just click on the view button top left and click viewport render animation, which renders the current display you are in. Now I'm gonna leave you with a literal cheat code. To get the feeling of animating, pacing, placing, and speed, choose an animator that you like, whether it is from Twitter, TikTok, or YouTube. Download their videos and draw over it. Maybe not frame by frame, but in twos or threes and simple figures. You will get the feeling of it so fast and you will learn the necessary drawings to make just so that our brain processes it the way you intended to. Because that is what animating is about. But for more improvement and variety, go on sakugaburu.com and you will find scenes from recent anime the you can analyze frame by frame and, and draw upon. Now all there is left to do is to draw. It may be hard, but time will fly by and you will see how far you have come. For extra fast improvement, draw everyday poses on posesmaniacs.com with simple figures. Share your work in whatever community it may be or on any socials to keep you going. I have a Reddit that I'm part of myself if you are interested. You can find the link down below. Let me know in the comments if this video helped you out and I would truly appreciate a like or a sub from you. Thank you and see you next time.